Here's a quick tip I'm going to show you that will probably eliminate about 80% of your blurred shots when shooting with a point and shoot or a compact camera, similar to this one I have here. Now what happens most of the time, if you watch people shooting, they hold the camera out like this, sometimes even up above their heads, but they hold it out almost at arm's length, and when they take the shot, they actually stab. So what's going to happen is that's obviously going to bring motion into the shot. You're going to move the camera one way or the other. And unless you're shooting a beach scene or, or snow, something like that, where you have a very, very fast shutter speed, you're going to get a blurred image because you're going to hold it out like this. You're going to look, you're going to stab at it, and the camera is going to move slightly. So you're obviously going to end up with a blurred shot. So the way around that is bring the camera in close to you, put your elbows against your body, usually on the side. And so now what happens, it almost becomes like a tripod where your arms are, are nestled in against your ribs. That's going to steady things. Then with your left hand, take it and form almost like a bracket over the camera like this, where you're, you're supporting the top and the bottom. Your right hand goes on the, on the shutter. And then what you do is what I do is I hold my finger over the shutter and then I press halfway. That gives me my focus. You usually hear a little beep. It's telling me I have my focus. Now I take the shot. And what I'm doing when I take the shot is I'm not stabbing with the shutter. I'm pressing very, very gently. I get that beep, the confirmation it's in focus, and we have the exposure. And then I just very slowly, I usually hold my breath. It's usually on an out breath. And then slowly press the shutter. And you're going to find that's going to save you about 90% of the blurred shots you're getting. Simply by using your body as a tripod, having your finger resting on the shutter button, exhaling, and then just very gently pressing down to get your shot. You're going to find it makes a huge, huge difference. Now, one other thing I do is I'd like to go out and I use the point and shoot the way I would a DSLR. I want to go out, I'm specifically shooting, not just for snapshots, but I want to do landscapes. I want to do waterfalls. I want to do seascapes, whatever it may be. But one of the problems you have, of course, when you're outdoors is it's hard to see in one of these little LCD screens in bright sunlight. It's very, very difficult, depending on the position you're in, to see properly what you're getting to frame it properly. So what I do is I take a little device with me that is this. This is called the Hoodman Loop. Put it over here where you can see it a little bit better. And this can be used. This basically what happens now is I, I bought this loop in a camera store, and I take the loop, and I put it over the camera, over the LCD screen like this. Then I hold the loop up to my eye. Now I just take my shot this way. And what's happened is now effectively, this becomes, this looks a lot like a DSLR viewfinder would because you're able to put your eye right up against the loop. And then of course what happens as well, because you're doing that is it stabilizes the camera a lot more because you're pressing against your eye. So now I can move around, I can frame whatever way I want. I get what I want, shutter halfway, and I take the shot. And this is going to keep it even steadier than without using the doing it this way. So whatever you do, just make sure of a couple of things. Get your arms in closer to your body. Use your left hand to frame around the camera edge to support it. You're still supporting somewhat with your right hand as well. Then your, your, your finger over the shutter button halfway to get the focus. Leave it for a second when you have that, so that's taken care of. And then slowly just depress and release the shutter. And you're going to find doing these things alone are going to improve your photography, at least in terms of what's blurry and what's a little bit fuzzy, I'd say at least by 80%. So try that. You're going to see how well it works. The best thing, of course, whenever you can, is to have a tripod with you. But obviously, depending what you're doing, where you are, you may not be able to have the tripod with you. So the next thing is turn your body into a tripod. Do as I say, do the framing, do the bracketing to support it. Elbows in against your side. Gent press, gentle pressure on the shutter. And then just get ready and take the shot. So if you try those things, I think you're going to find a huge improvement in the blurriness of your photographs. So to learn more about this or other tips and tricks we offer, we have these videos, but we also have our blog site you can go to. And I would encourage you to go to www 
www.pointandshoothowto.com, where we'll have what we just talked about now in print summary if you prefer, and there's lots of other tips and tricks as well. So I really encourage you to go to the site, have a look, see what you think. And until we talk again, happy shooting.